Um, I recently became a non-believer, well, like over the past few years, and Eastern Orthodoxy was kind of the last branch that I hit falling out of the Jesus. You sacrificed your baby yet? Oh, not yet. Um, <laughs> <in the> <laughs> right, I need to, I need to work on that. Um, and so I was expecting this to be an interesting debate because there's some ways in which um, orthodoxy is anti-rationalism. The, the intellectual framework for it is non-Western, and um, I think that a lot of how that's framed is going to become more popular for like kind of postmodern Christianity in the U.S. Um, what were some ways in which you felt like you were surprised by things that he said, um, and ways in which you think that um, it was challenging rhetorically to respond to how he was talking about? I, I was, apart from the, the closing, I was most frustrated probably um, when, when I asked questions and, and didn't get an answer early on. Um, and I, later I came to understand why. And, and he explained it in, in this, and he not being a literalist is free to say that the, for example, the writings about slavery represent bad Jewish law and don't actually represent the word of God. And I'm coming from Protestant background and would say, well, oh, you're a heretic for just saying that because this is the inspired word of God, every word of it, it's right there in the New Testament. This is a difference in, in what we view about religion. So that frustration of not getting an answer was kind of eased as soon as I realized why it didn't happen. Um, I, I don't know, I think, I think there were times, when, you know, it didn't surprise me it, the bombshell at the end was the only thing that actually surprised me. The, the, the kind of atheism and secularism lead to gulags, uh, doomsday prediction, or porn. I couldn't tell which one. A lot of blood, either way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what kind of porn you feel like. Well, on that subject, that's too much never. Yeah, right. <laughs> what he did there is he, he claims to be a Christian man of principle, but by accusing atheists of, of looking at porn all the time, that was crazy. Mm -hmm. yeah. And who knows what he does? And yeah, there's a long history. Um, you know, I, 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 I sometimes come across the country, and at interstate at interchanges, you find these porn shops in the heartland of America, the Christian part of the country. The, 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 the popes kept mistresses and so on and so forth. Um, that is a common problem that I have with Christians, is they, they claim to be people of principle and they will get into the sleaze real quick. There was, an inter there was a debate between Hitchens, who's such a brave man, it was just, he, you know, he's, he's got cancer, and he did this debate with David Belinsky. Belinsky comes across as this very arched principle man, a professor, and he was getting some sleazy comments about how atheists write these books to make money. And that's how low these people can get. Wow. Maybe I should write a book. <laughs> well, but the, the counter argument is if you really want to make money off of religion, you, you do what you're you start a religion. You do, or, or you can like, you know, like uh, Richard, uh, Rick Warren or whatever, or Ann Coulter or Bill O'Reilly. Do a pro religious book, then you make the big bucks. Big bucks. Yeah, the, 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 I, the, the comment about the porn thing, um, you know, I don't want to make him out to be any more nefarious than, than I think he was. Um, but you're right. Um, there is a, a, a kind of sleaziness to it because on the one hand he was willing to put me in a category as different from you know, perhaps I just hadn't viewed enough porn, although I would beg to differ. <laughs> but the, this idea that that secularism leads to this and that it's something wrong. First of all, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I think we haven't established as, as a matter of course in the debate that there's anything wrong with somebody watching porn. A consenting adult watching another consenting adult have sex. Hey, if you're going to say it's wrong, you need to demonstrate why it's wrong. So there's this insinuation that it's wrong, and and he linking it to a lack of moral sense with no justification behind the song, just bald assertion. I think there are scientific there's scientific evidence that watching porn, people's heart rate, their stress, it has an ill effect on the body, whereas faith is um, life uh, assistance. There are also studies that show that since the availability of porn has gone up, the uh, rape rate has decreased. But in, in any case, here's yeah, the thing. So that doesn't mean people in, in aren't case, burning hang, hang on. 
In any case, here's the thing, there's a continuation that comes not just from him, but from others, that there are these things that they deem evil in the world, and that they are somehow tied to atheists. Those of us who represent perhaps somewhere between one and 14% of the population are somehow responsible for the 80 to 90% of you know, the, the porn. Uh, good job, guys. <laughs> Maybe Bob had a reaction about, about the that wasn't how the that how was the not his point. His point was spend a week looking at porn, spend a week looking at reading good literature, see you will be a different person. Yeah, yeah. if one out of all the box empty Kleenex is a big exhaustion. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. He's giving you he's giving you an example of yeah. one thing that is obviously harmful to the internal person that's that not harmful. Who's judging the literature? Depending on the literature. What if you read Mein Kampf? You don't want to do it now. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Who thinks that people don't become addicted by dwelling on things? Who thinks that? What? Are we not habitual beings? Who thinks that people don't become addicted to porn, to lust, by dwelling on them, by spending too much time with them? But is there an addiction that hurts like a saint, like Mother Teresa, does that cause her to in the world? Mother Teresa, yeah. Yeah. Mother Teresa admitted she didn't believe in she God. Believe in God. So you you, you want to pick a particular person and you, attack you the person. Brought you brought it up. You brought it up. You brought it up. Most questions. Christians are reading the yeah. fictional Bible, and we see the religious wars that that's got us. So I've got a question. What's in the Bible? Oh, uh, I've got a question. No, there is porn in the Bible. The Old Testament has some pretty disgusting things in it. Hang on. Did you have a question with regard to this? I mean, are we arguing about if porn is good or bad now? Yes, we are. Okay. If we want to have a discussion about whether or not porn is bad, that's fine. But I don't know that that is a productive discussion for here. Because it, I would be, do, it has to do with do you have something internally that can burn and be destructive, or something internally that can be life giving? Something like hate that can cause you to, to just. Dis become destroyed internally, but I think you need to... Prove that exists first before causing your origin. I don't, I don't understand what you mean by destroyed internally. I mean that people will become sick because of their own internal passions without even going out and touching or interacting with Sick? What do you mean sick? Do you have any evidence for this? Can I ask you a question about what you saw in these reports? I tell you what, you can ask me one question and then leave. Oh, because you're the authority? In this room, believe, you bet your ass. I believe because you have enough evidence to realize there's more than just the material, that there is something that spiritually works or doesn't work inside of you. Do you see evidence? You will see it years from now if you spend your life looking at four repeats. And I want to, hang on. I, I want to be clear. I want to be clear. I'm only asking you to leave. Ask you to go, so I'm going to go. I'm, I want to be clear. I'm only asking you to go. Because it's clear that you came in with an agenda yeah. and wanted to prompt a discussion that this wasn't necessarily about. And you are, have nothing more than an assertion that people in the room don't agree with. And rather than discussing, ra rather, rather than making the case, the assertion bye. Bye. <laughs> Should I hung up? Should I hung up? Back to you. I'm sorry. Um, that was porn good? <laughs>